Kentucky playing well at both ends of the floor right now. Reeves on the way, one of the best shooters in the time to shine for Kentucky. KD Johnson was wide open on that flex cut. Kentucky's nil project has grown since Pope's hiring. For the past three months, the men's basketball program at Kentucky Wildcats has been through a lot. There were many unknowns for the program going forward after going from one of the most exciting teams in the nation to losing in the opening round and then losing to their longtime head coach leaving to take a job elsewhere. Nevertheless, with additional structure added, that is beginning to alter. Former UK star Mark Pope, who has previously brought in a number of high-profile transfers, was able to draw Mitch Barnhart and company. According to KSR's Matt Jones, a significant contributing factor in this is the team's nil effort, which has been flourishing and is evidenced by the $650,000 in yearly pledges made by the general fan base to Club Blue. According to Kyle Tucker of The Athletic, the figure is now closer to $700,000. Support from the general public and private sector will be necessary to keep Kentucky competitive in college athletics, which is starting to resemble the professional ranks in terms of player compensation. Pope, who attended BYU the previous year, deserves all the assistance he receives, and with this kind of financing, they may be able to attract other well-known prospects. I hope that Lexington experiences more support of this nature throughout the Mark Pope administration. Kentucky, even though it was chaotic, a deuce the air home. The man on the spot dunks right over Chad Baker. And Kentucky handling the Auburn pressure much better after that timeout where John Calipari could get them refocused. Holloway burst to speed and he lays it in at the other end. Holloway said, I can do that at the other end. And Auburn has made a game of it here. They are. Side and a driving layup and a foul. Watch that shot. Now watch him curling around this. And hands were all over him.